Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, I want to show you how to install MySQL Server, MySQL Workbench and MySQL Cell in a Windows 11 machine. Well, it is very simple. Just open the browser. In a new tab, just type MySQL download for a Windows and hit enter. And go ahead and click on the first link. This will navigate to the official website of MySQL. Next, here you can see MySQL Community Downloads and the current version is mysql installer 8.0.32 and here by default microsoft windows operate, operating system is selected and here we have two installer we are going to select the second one and here you can see 32 bit but this will also support 64 bit next go ahead and click on this download button over here perfect so here we are not going to sign in so just click on this no thanks just start my download link over here perfect so it will take a few seconds to complete the download notice here download is completed let's open this exe file in a folder and double click on this exe file and there we go so here we need to choose the setup type well we are going to install mysql server mysql workbench and mysql cell right so here choose the custom to install the products manually next click on next button over here and here we need to select the products so go to mysql servers and then expand mysql server and expand mysql server 8.0 and here you can see mysql server 8.0.32 so just drag it in a products to be installed section Next we need to install MySQL Workbench, for that go to Applications, go to MySQL Workbench, select this MySQL Workbench and drag it in a Products to be installed section. Next we need to also install MySQL Cell, right? So again go back to Applications and go to MySQL Cell over here and just drag this one in a Products to be installed section. Now you can see these are the three products that we are going to install. Next click on Next button. And here you can see the status ready to install click on execute button and here you can see the progress so let us wait a couple of seconds to complete you know installation of all these products well notice here the status complete next click on next button over here and here product configuration so let us click on next button over here and here type and networking so here we can configure the port by default the mysql server port is 3306 let us keep as it is click on next button and authentication method so let us keep the default selected one because it is recommended click on next button and here we need to you know type the root password well by default mysql server create a root user and here we need to configure the password for that root user so here let me type the password properly mysql at the rate 1 to 3 and the password strength is medium it's okay and here you can also add a new user as well for example username ramesh host localhost role admin and you can give the password okay so as of now i am going to keep only the root user but you can create a new user as well click on next button and here let us keep windows service name mysql80 next keep start the mysql server at system startup next click on next button and here you can see server file permission so select i mean let us keep the selected one as it is click on next button and here you can see apply configurations so next click on execute button to apply all these configurations one by one so it will take a couple of seconds to apply all these configurations so let us wait a couple of seconds now and there we go the configuration for mysql server was successful click on finish to continue next click on next button installation is completed perfect next click on finish and here you can see mysql workbench is opened up let me minimize this and mysql server mysql cell is also opened up let me minimize this go to this pc go to c drive go to program files 
go to MySQL folder here you can see MySQL server server bin folder path so let's copy this bin folder location and go to start menu and here just search for environment and click on open and click on environment variables and go to system variables under that we have path select it click on edit and click on new button over here and just add this entry this is the bin folder location in a mysql server directory click on ok click on ok click on ok perfect next let us go to search and here just search for command prompt open it and here just type the command mysql hyphen hyphen version and there we go the current mysql version is 8.0.32 so this is the mysql server that we have installed in our windows 11 machine next just type the command mysql minus u root minus p and just type the password mysql at that one two three and there we go we got the mysql cell so from here we can connect to the mysql server for example here let me type the command show databases this will list out all the databases so these are the default databases next here just type the command create database followed by the database name so let us give demo and there we go the database is created next show databases and there we go a demo database is successfully created it means we have successfully installed mysql server in a windows l1 machine next let's go to mysql workbench and here just type the password so we have given the password to the root user as a mysql at the to three so this is the user interface of mysql workbench and here click on schemas all right so from mysql workbench we can execute the sql statements for example here just type the command i mean sql statement like create database followed by the database name for example let us say demo one select this and execute it and there we go the sql statement is executed refresh and here you can see demo one database successfully created so this is how we can use the mysql workbench to connect to the mysql server and execute the sql statements it means we have successfully installed mysql server mysql workbench in our windows 11 machine all right great i will see you in the next video